Hello, this is for Kill Diggity and her little um, website uh, dealing with why you shouldn't be a witness. Um, probably the most simplest uh, video I can make is is that um, if you are a witness, you're not able to think for yourself. You have to ask what you should think. Um, that's the the biggest issue that I I found uh, being a Jehovah's Witness. And if you recall in my other previous videos, I was a witness for 31 years, baptized at the age of 13. So I know what I'm talking about. Um, just unbelievable. I did leave um, in a period of time when um, I was. 27 so I left uh, just you now briefly when I was 27 and basically because I was working and going through boot camp oh and also another thing you are not able to express yourself with other individuals um, not to the full extent um, when when you're away from the Jehovah's Witness lifestyle um, you're able to express how you feel with no rep you can you can get a repercussion but it's not like oh worried if that person is going to rat you out to an elder or something I mean you're able to talk like a grown adult not being watched over like a bunch of kids <coughs> excuse me um, another reason I can go on all night but we're not I'm not going to I'm gonna try to keep this brief another reason would be um, you are not um, able to uh, you know say things and if you do there's a repercussion to that and that's you will possibly lose your friendships you'll definitely lose your family eventually um, you lose your rank in the organization um, you start getting your so-called Jehovah's Witness privileges taken away um, that's why you shouldn't be a Jehovah's Witness everything is um, mental blackmail um, and it's a high control cult I don't care what anybody says if you have a problem with it look up B-I-T-E and that's the um, abbreviation for you know high cult control group uh, type that in Google if you're watching this anybody that is possibly is a Jehovah's Witness or possibly gonna become one um, and another issue you shouldn't be a Jehovah's Witnesses they are superficial when it comes to learning their Bible um, it's all on the surface it's like it's like a um, scum on the top of the the, uh, the waters when it comes to the knowledge that you you could gain from the Bible and uh, <clears throat> You don't have any freedom um, in any any aspect of your life. Um, nothing, uh, nothing. There, everything is controlled. If you look around, um, controlled in every different way. But if you know, if you were to believe what you truly say when you go to the watchtower, it says that you have freedom within Christ. Um, you wouldn't have that issue that we have with the watch somewhere but um, I'm a true example of losing my family because of not believing it anymore uh, putting it aside um, basically done with it um, why you shouldn't be a Jehovah's Witness again is another reason would be you are not able to protect your family you're not able to have firearms so basically anybody could come in and do whatever to your family and um, and it's okay <laughs> like like truthfully you, you really think that your God Jehovah would want you not to protect your family members and you had all the chance to do it come on thank Jehovah's Witnesses um, 
I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I knew I had the opportunity to protect my family, and I didn't. In a, in a way, when I left, this was a form of protection too. Protection and a stand against something that is so wrong and corrupt against all family structure. It's a, it's a way to, they insert themselves into the family structure and divide it and separate it. I know there's several Jehovah's Witnesses that probably sit down and, and wonder, hey, wow, why is it so much trouble just to go to uh, meetings, to go to field service? Because it's not natural. It's not the way they did it in the um, scriptures. Nope, that's not why, how they did it. So that's why it's not natural. It's not. So that's why you need to look deeper into the Hebrew and the Greek. And you'll very probably come to the same conclusion that I've come to. But I won't, I won't detail that at this moment. This is about why you shouldn't be a Jehovah's Witness. You lose friendships that you once had since <coughs> almost birth. Yeah. You, um, if you, if you're in that long, they totally turn your back on you in a matter of moments for the smallest things. One reason was, for me, this is one of the reasons, was that um, I said to read a different version of the Bible. Try that. Um, you're not able to speak your mind even in your own watch hour study. You have to go and read word for word out of those paragraphs, which is parroting. Parroting is copying. It might as well, might as well just keep reading the paragraphs and, and put it down. Another reason why you shouldn't be a Jehovah's Witness. You study more the Watchtower for the length of 45 minutes and the Bible reading, which is on whatever night, on the weeknights, is only five minutes. Okay, weigh it. Weigh it. Weigh out the real truth. Do you really think that Jesus Christ would sit down and underline with a yellow marker the watch hour? Do you really think that he would listen to them saying you're not able to wear a beard? I mean, that's the smallest things. Um, oh, do you really think that he would listen to them saying that that person is a sinner and you're not able to talk to them? What did Jesus Christ himself do? He wouldn't talk to all peoples. All peoples, all sinners. Harlots, tax collectors. They had them sitting with them. Eating with him. And what did they do? As Jehovah's Witnesses, they exclude and throw you out. On the, on the pavement as fast as they can. Because they really don't want the truth to be spread around. A really how this organization is, how the history really is. Do I really feel by in this day and age that um, elder Jehovah's Witnesses are naive to this issue? No, they're comfortable. They're afraid to lose everything. They've seen it. They sit there in those committee meetings. They know exactly what they're afraid of. That's why they will never turn their back on this organization. It feeds them emotionally. It gives them also the ones that were picked on in school the power that they never got. So they use it for their benefit. And they're not, they don't love Jehovah. And they don't love the scriptures. If they did, they would have walked away a long time ago. But they only love what they want the power, the prestige, and the name. The name that they clawed up through the ladder, stepped on people, used them, just to say, hey, I did that for that guy, I did this, I do this. Look, you see me? I put this many hours in. 
do you really think that the Son of God would have kept hourly time when he went preaching? No. This is an organization. It's a printing company. That's why you shouldn't be a Jehovah's Witness. Anyway, no one's a witness of Jehovah anyway. What have you ever witnessed? No one's witnessed anything that Jehovah has done. And I'm only using this Jehovah name as a as a um, as a just a word because honestly, it was created by the Catholics, and they talk so down about the Catholics, but they use his name freely. The Catholic made up name Jehovah. Well, I'm out. I'm still horse 45. And the reason why you really shouldn't be a Jehovah's Witness, because you will lose everything sooner or later once you start thinking for yourself. Bye, and I'll see you on the next side.